Hey, I'm Phil. So today we are out here with the Canon R5 and we have our Iridium filter and we're going to test out what cool photos and video we can get while we're outside. So when you shoot with an Iridium filter on an unconverted camera, it actually acts as a color enhancer and it enhances the greens, the reds, and the blues of your image. So taking a quick photo, let's see how that looks. Oh, absolutely lovely. This pathway is just, it's so pretty. It's like something straight out of a movie. Oh, absolutely lovely. And even looking at these photos, you can just see how saturated the greens are and really adds to it. It really pops out, it's really nice. Right oh, wait, right oh, right oh, wait, no, that, that's cool, what's up here? Okay. Oh, come back. Oh, oh, oh! This entire video is going to be me taking photos of a ladybug. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we spotted some ladybugs right now. Earlier when we got here, we... Wait, what's happening? <laughs> oh. Yo, if you know what kind of plant that is, leave a comment down below, because... I don't know what it is, but it looks cool as heck. Let's get a photo of it. And it's flowering. And it's I wanted to get the bee in like iridium full spectrum. I wonder how that would have looked. Maybe if they come back and I'm quick enough. Oh well. What was that? What was that? That scared me. <laughs> So when you shoot with an Iridium filter on an unconverted camera, it essentially enhances the colors of your image, the reds, the greens, and the blues. But you can also shoot this filter with an unconverted camera and it'll also give you really interesting results. So let's try that out real quick. So right now I have a CPL filter and I'm using it with the Iridium filter. Try it out. Ooh, I'm gonna have to white balance real quick because like right now this is what it looks like. So if you're in a crutch, you can do some custom white balance on something like rocks, just something uh, generally neutral. Let's try that. So right now I'm using a receipt to white balance and it's working out pretty well. This is what it looks like. Nice, nice. It's so beautiful. Take a portrait shot, oh, magnificent. So right now, this is our shot. It looks so pretty, but when you use a CPL, it kind of, it really reduces those reflections. And it just looks magnificent. Oh my goodness. Absolutely beautiful. This is a photo with the CPL engaged and the CPL engaged, and it's like a night and day difference. It's, it's crazy. But even just the shot overall, it's just so beautiful. Like imagine if real life was looking exactly like this, that'd be crazy. Tactical fill. Too bad. Oh, this is pretty cool. Right over here. Oh my god, I feel like touching me. Just like looking at this path over here, from the asphalt going into this little curve leading thing. Line. Got some leading line action going on. That's definitely worth the photo. I got the stork! No way. I got the stork! <laughs> it was flying. Wait, I wanna see, did I? Well, kind of, but. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. I didn't even. That might be a, lot, a little out of focus, but. For a shot that was very spontaneous, not too shabby. Okay, well. Oh, this is such a nice view. But while we're here, might as well get bench and infrared. Bench and infrared. 
So after walking through that long and winding road, we came across this beauty over here. So I've been shooting with an Iridium filter on a converted camera, and you can get really cool images using the Iridium with a camera that is converted to infrared. So using the Iridium filter with a converted camera gives you this very white, pinkish, pastel-y kind of look when using a custom white balance, and it's very similar to the 720 nanometer filter. Right now, there's a lot of interesting stuff happening here. We've got some mushrooms on this tree. And this open space looks absolutely lovely. So shooting with the Iridium filter was a very fun experience. Just getting to use it with a converted and an unconverted camera uh, gave you just like different, very interesting results. Um, personally, I'd like to say that shooting it on a full spectrum camera with the white colored pastels was Personally, my favorite, uh, opposed to the color enhanced, the uh, very saturated greens, but I think either way, it gives you great results just shooting it in those different kinds of ways. Overall, the Iridium filter was just really fun to shoot with, and in fact, this entire video was shot on an Iridium filter, so you got to see the entire Iridium filter experience through this camera. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Tune in to the next video.